All right, now I've plugged the other end into the computer and it's done initializing and then you start your whatever software you have um, and then just basically let her go and uh, I'll show you kind of a little bit um, on the software on ECU Talk at least because uh, that's the program that I use that's easy to diag so um, yeah alright so sorry about the resolution and shit anyway um, so you start up your ECU Talk and you turn your ignition on for your car only in the on position not in the start um, and then you go down and select the communication um, on the the little bar just underneath my mouse pointer it says COM3 yours may be a different uh, communication port um, basically you just click select the communication port that your USB is hooked up to and then you select your gauges that you want to be able to monitor and then click display gauges and it should look something like this um, depending on how many gauges you selected or and which gauges you did select to be shown um, to get out of the screen you just click again click your mouse button um, and it'll exit out of the screen um, let's go ahead and start it up and see what it's doing alright so just started it up and as you can see gauges are working um, battery voltage went from I believe 12 point something to the 14.4 RPMs. I know it idles high. I know there's issues with it. I was just showing you how to connect the Nissan console cables. Um, but yeah, so one thing to um, maybe take into consideration is if you're going to go from the console interface to a laptop or a PC, which I'll have to do anyway. Um, is when you are getting extensions for your USB. If you say you're going from um, the console interface to your desktop PC, um, you have to get USB extension cables, basically. I found out that if you have one extension cable that's a certain brand and another extension cable that's a different brand, it won't work you have to have all the same brand for the extension uh, USBs themselves. Um, I tried it both ways. Uh, the way with um, two different brands did not work. Um, so make sure when you get your extension cables that they're the same brand um, and you should have no problems whatsoever. Um, that was a huge issue for me because <laughs> uh, I had a whole bunch of extension cables for it but I didn't have the same brand. So, um, but yeah, just some food for thought there. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you can go ahead and uh, comment or anything like that. Uh, you can email me. I'll leave my email address on there. You know, just hit me if you have questions. Um, and then I can also leave some links to get drivers and so forth for the Nissan Consult. I'll also leave a link to um, the Nissan Consult interface um, from eBay. I got mine from eBay. It was like I think 30 or 40 bucks um, and works just fine. And uh, like I said, I prefer the ECU talk because um, it's free. It has quite a bit of uh, good vital information. Um, the others are not free. Uh, they do offer more though. So it's your choice there. But yeah.